Hey everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. So I'm here today to do a quick book list Thursday. I've got a little bit of a cold going on so hopefully I don't sound too crazy and too off but we're gonna roll with it, right? So book list Thursday is something I do with my friend Sarah over at Sarah's Nightstand. We come to you every Thursday with some sort of book thoughts, recommendations, something bookish related. Today's topic is books you've changed your mind about. Now this came from one of our subscribers, I'm not sure if it was mine or Sarah's, one of you guys, so I appreciate the prompt, but it definitely made me think. So most of you know, we don't have any rules with this. We just, we have our prompt and whatever we come up with, we come up with. And this one was a little bit more of a struggle for me than I thought it was gonna be. So here's what I've got. I got a few, I've got five books and one genre. So we're gonna start with the genre. So. Back in the day, I used to be really, really big on chiclet type books. The Red Dress Ink books I was obsessed with for quite a while and had quite a bit of them, and this is the only one that has made the cut. Um, Mike, Mike and Me by Wendy Markham is one that I still would recommend and I really, really loved this book. I actually should do a reread sooner than later. I should. Um, but I definitely was very much into the chiclet genre type of books for a while, and I'm kind of changed my mind on that a bit. Um, I definitely don't, don't gravitate towards these books anymore. I'm more into your psychological thriller, historical fiction, those types of books rather than these. So changed my mind on that over the years. The next one I have changed my mind on is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. When I finished this book, I hated it. I hated it. I was so so mad about how it ended and what happened. I think I literally threw it across the room and didn't want to have anything to do with it. But I've since changed my mind and realized that that's what makes it so good because it got me so mad. And for a book to get me that, that emotional, yep, it's a great book. Not a bad book, but a great book. All right. Um, where are you next? We're going to go with Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I really did like this book and I was very excited to keep going on in the series and I even bought I think the next two and since then I'm kind of, eh, it was okay. Um, it was fine. I really enjoyed the first book to the point where I don't know if I want to go on to the next ones because I'm pretty happy with what I read here. So even though it ended on a bit of a cliffhanger, I haven't found this need to continue on with it. So maybe changed my mind a little bit on that one, right? Um, next one, I read this book in high school. Was it high school? It had to have been high school. Um, and watched the movie, and at the time, it was fine for me. But since then, I have learned, not learned to love it, I have fallen in love with it completely, and that's The Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. <sighs> yes, definitely fell in love with this. Um, I've read this now three times read it twice, listened to it once, and obviously have changed my mind since I first read it when I was all of, you know, 16 years old. Um, there's so much in this book. There's so many lessons in this book and so many, like the characters in this book. I mean, you can't help but love them. So 100% changed my mind on this book for the better because this is definitely in my top five books of all time. Um, the next two, we'll go with this one, Bring Me Back by B.A. Paris. I was so, so, so excited for this book. And I read B.A. Paris's Behind Closed Doors and fell in love with it. And then I was super, super fortunate enough to get an advanced reader's copy of Bring Me Back and was just gaga over it and devoured it because it's short, like really, really short. And finished it. I think I gave it four stars and I was just like, yeah, it's great and B.A. Paris has done it again and it's wonderful. And since then I'm thinking about it, but it is not even close to Behind Closed Doors. So I would say more of a three-star read. Definitely, I wouldn't say don't read it, like read it, but don't think it's Behind Closed Doors material. And I think I was just really swept up in the hype of another B.A. Paris book coming out. So probably between so I've read three I've read behind closed doors the breakdown and bring me back and this is probably number three number one for sure is behind closed doors then the breakdown which was good and then bring me back so hopefully B.A. Paris the next one she writes I'm gonna read it 
that we knock it out of the park. So we're going to go with that. And then the last one is kind of similar to similar to Gone Girl and To Kill a Mockingbird that I was a little disturbed by the story and what happened that I wasn't in love with the book but now looking back on things and having really good conversations about this book with some book, book club friends I have fallen back in love with it and that is All the Ugly and Wonderful Things by Bryn Greenwood. So this follows our main character Wavy who she's just dealt a shitty hand pretty much so she's the one that's helping raise her brother she's the daughter of a drug dealer her mom's on drugs she's kind of the only adult in this little community this little trailer that she's got to live in and and she shouldn't have to be she was hmm, how old is baby she was eight when we first meet her and we kind of follow her growing up and into her teenage years um and she ends up meeting Danal. Danal. That's her brother. Kellen. She meets Kellen, who is a friend of her dad's. Um, and Kellen kind of sees what's happening and the fact that poor Wavy has to be an adult, even when she's eight, and continuing on. She never really had a childhood. And so Kellen takes it upon himself to kind of take care of Wavy. And um, they have a really interesting relationship that forms between the two of them. And I'm not going to tell you any more, but I had a few issues with the book, but in hindsight... It was really a beautiful story. It was a really beautiful story. So definitely changed my mind on this one for the better. And you need to go read this book. It is, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. So highly, highly suggest this one for sure. So that's it. Those are my five books and my one genre um, that I've changed my mind about. And this was a really interesting prompt because it has definitely has me thinking and I've been kind of scrolling back in the books that I've been reading lately and I don't change my mind too much about the books that I've been reading um especially as I reread them I tend to I mean the only ones I've reread I've just fallen more in love with them so um a very interesting prompt and I really appreciate it you guys make me think out of, outside of the norm and I I love that so keep sending us suggestions anytime make sure you hop over to Sarah's channel I'll have it linked below can you tell I have a cold? I feel like I'm a little out of it, but that's okay. But go check out her video. See what she has to say. I'm always, I'm interested to see. I don't even know what she would have in mind. Like I said, we don't really talk about these beforehand. So go over there. Otherwise, um, comment below. Is there a book that you've read that you've changed your mind about since then? Or maybe a genre you've kind of grown out of? We'll chat below. Otherwise, like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.